I have sent my resume to hundreds of companies only to get the same cry response. Turns out, 75% of resumes end up getting rejected. But I had to change that, and fast. Because who knows, I might not even be alive by the time I get accepted. But then, I stumbled across a couple of sources which completely changed my resume to blow anyone's mind. I'll probably give it to you on Tuesday. Oh my god. And gain the attention of recruiters. You can too. When I first started making my resume, I also followed those YouTube tutorials that say, Here's the resume that got me to this big tech company. Okay, come here. Take a look at this. And Hans. He previously worked at uh, the Microsoft? Oh, you just need to have worked at Microsoft to land a good job. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, it was their skill, not their resume. But the problem is, most of us are not big brain wizards, like the aliens who land a job in humans of coding. What can we do when just entry level jobs require 5 plus years of experience and our resumes are like this? Fret not, I shall help. Give up. Or unless your resume is 3D. For example, look at these personal portfolio websites. This one has a 3D hippopotamus elephant with cool effects. Hired. Even this one which has a cool interactive car with various props showcasing his skills. Again, hired. An interactive gaming setup? Perfection. The world's your oyster. But personally, the best one was this website where you can move around in the car visiting shops. It even has these bottle schools with their resume in it. And this very cool website was made by this person called Sp -a Space. Oh, it's me! Mario! Who would have known? Okay, it's not that bad as long as you don't take a look at the code and see the number of times I have copy pasted the same line of code again and again and the grass is just code I stole from someone else while the whole website is holding on by a single strand. But that aside, my website was created using 3JS, which was the same thing that was used in those much cooler websites. While it may look difficult, adding 3D elements to your website is quite easy. There are just three key components. A scene that holds the object, a renderer to show us the object, and a camera so that the object can be viewed and moved around. Which again is very simple in code, just a few lines. You can even add a shape by just creating a geometry object and a mesh for it, merging it and adding it to the scene. But pff, shapes? Who wants that? We need custom 3D models created from something like Blender. It's simple as exporting your model as GLB and then just use a simple 3GS model loader and giving it the path to our model here. I'm in quite the predicament if I may. It's so simple, yet so elegant and marvelous. You can even add on to this and create your own resume website. While it may not guarantee you a job at your dream company, it will definitely make you stand out more and increase your chances of getting in. I'll also leave some sources below which hopefully will help you get started. And I hope this video was helpful.